Hi guys, currently I'm filming with an aperture of 4 and an ISO of 500. I've chosen the ISO of 500 because most uh, DSLRs can cope with 500 um, without too much noise. Um, but basically, uh, most camera kit lenses can't cope with uh, a dark street scene like so. Um, we haven't really got a lot of light, even though there's a lot of different lights. So I'm going to show you the uh, difference that having a wider aperture lens uh, sort of gives you. So I'm going to change the aperture to 2.8. There we go. Now, as you can see, there is a lot more visible on in the street level. And, uh, you know, you can see a heck of a lot more with that. If we go to an aperture of 2, um, we now have a very, very visible street. Um, and we don't need to increase it much more. So if we sort of look around, we can see basically everything there. Now, most people will go with a 1.8 um, a 1.8 aperture, uh, 50 millimeter. So I'm going to go to 1.8, and that's there. And as you see, now we've got a lot of um, light on our street. And if we want to increase that even more and go with a 1.4, which is what my Summer Lux can cope with, we've got that, and that's at 1.4. And if you're going to invest in a Hyper Prime, 0.95, that's really, really good. Just refocus a little bit, get those things in shot. Now, if I want to increase um, my gain, I can go up to uh, 1,250. Um, personally, I will uh, reduce the uh, aperture a little bit to get some more sharpness in. Uh, reducing it now to, um, right, where are we? Four, sorry, I can't actually see very well. That's an aperture of four with um, an ISO of 1250. Now we can go to 3200, and if you've got a camera that can cope with this with no too low noise, um, you're going to get a very good shot in, even with a standard kit lens but all the way up to maximum that's a little bit glary and a little bit bright but as you can see you've got a lot of vision coming from uh, basically nothing which is really really quite nice 